Today we're gonna follow our nose for treasure to a pot of gold. Well, more like bronze. So this the zombie start, decided to take it to the man, started attacking me. I walked all the way out of his aggro range, and then he was like, you know what, I got a longer aggro range now. And then he turned around and started attacking me again, so I'm going to try to take him on with my prayer, but boy, that certainly doesn't seem to be happening. Oh, he's hitting me threes. Oh, we're going to have to flick it. Heck yes. Heck yes. I consider that a win. Ah, oh, sweet. Some air runes, finally. We can practice magic. If we only had a mind rune. <laughs> It'll happen one day. Just not anytime soon. Two seconds later. Got a sweet mind rune drop to go with those air runes, so you know what it's time for. Three casts of wind strike. And that's all we get? <laughs> uh, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Ah, the final zombie. We've gotten a lot of levels during this grind between the rats to get food and the zombies themselves. This has been really good for the account since we're getting stronger all the time and soon we'll be able to fight even stronger monsters. But for now we're still, <laughs> we still get knocked over by a stiff breeze. Heck, yes. All right, give me a new assignment. 48 Wolves. So this guy, Count Check, if you say, where can I learn more? He teleports you to the Stronghold of Security in Barbarian Village, but only one time. I thought he kept doing it over and over again. So that's unfortunate. I guess I'm just gonna huff it over there. <laughs> so I was looking at some quest requirements and there's a couple that immediately pop out. There is Animal Magnetism, which nets you an Ava's Accumulator, which is absolutely invaluable if you don't want to lose your mind when you're doing ranging stuff. There is Lost City that grants you access to Xeniris, which is also going to access the Fairy Rings at some point later. There's the Fremenic Trials, which is probably going to give us access to other Fremenic areas. There is Sins of the Father that gives us access to Darkmire, which we may or may not need, probably not. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of quests that need a woodcutting level. But there's one other thing I want woodcutting for. Canoes. So there is a canoe spot conveniently located right here in Lumbridge that takes us all the way to here, which is Varok, a main city. Another one that takes us here to Barbarian Village, which in the Stronghold of Security, there's a ton of monsters that are on my Slayer tasks. And then one up here to Edgeville, which has access to a quick bank. So I want it. I want those woodcutting levels. So not only for the quest, but for the convenience of getting around. Thankfully, we were able to get some bronze bars and smith. Thank you, Dwarf Task. Yeah, I'm, I'm lighting fires on the rooftop. Why not? This guy's been staring at me. It's like, what the hell's a noob doing lighting fires in front of the bank? Look at all these fires. The Duke's gonna call ye old fire department because he's gonna think I'm trying to burn his castle to the ground. Ah, sweet, another mime show. Let's do it. This will only take like five minutes and we'll get one thing that doesn't really do anything, but hey! Oh, sweet. That was totally worth the five minutes that it took to do that. Who the hell are you ruining my shot? So, this guy charges 2,000 coins to restyle your hair. But for Christmas, he'll do it for absolutely free. Let's, let's see what our options are. Uh, oh man, uh, I think these are all the ones from the beginning. 
Yeah, you know what? I'll 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 pass. So I went and did the uh, Christmas event, and now we have a cool Santa hat, which I remember in 2007 that was worth like several hundreds of mil back in the day, but now it's pretty uh, pretty widespread. So I'm not gonna say it's worth less, but. <laughs> That was very surprising when I got that. <laughs> What's up, Dick Turpentine? What do you got for me? Oh, sweet. Free cash. Can never say no to that. It seems like no matter what I do in my life, my account always comes down to chopping down trees. Woodcutting is like the most <laughs> iconic RuneScape skill. You can never escape from it, no matter what you do. All right, <clears throat> this is what our woodcutting journey was all about. Now we can chop down this canoe station. Well, just into the most basic of things. But this will give us some fast travel so we can travel between here, the bank, and the stronghold of security. Makes our lives a little bit easier. Okay, well, it wasn't as fast as I thought it would be, but it's still better than walking here and wasting all our run energy. So yeah, if we're going to fight wolves, there's no better place than the stronghold of security. They're the lowest level wolves, so hopefully we'll be done with this lickety split. Ooh, let's use that portal. Let's see where that takes us. You are not of sufficient exp. Okay, well, whatever. There's the wolves right there. Greetings, adventurers. Do you want to use common sense to answer these questions? Okay. Hey, what do you do? Type my password in backwards. Don't type password. Blah, 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 blah. I appreciate this only for the fact that it's great to learn some things, but then once you know it, this area gets way too annoying. It's like, I just want through. Let me through. Like, if you had to answer each question once and then after you did, that was it, and then you could just go through every door, this place would be awesome. And then if you wanted, you could turn it back on if you're a maniac. All right, we're gonna be here for a while, so I'll see you in like 10 hours when this task is done. Hey, a new Slayer level coming in at you. Oh, that unlocks nothing. All right, well, see you in an hour. <laughs> 13 Slayer coming at you. Nothing new. Health's almost gone. I'm just gonna fight wolves until I drop. See you in Lumbridge. <laughs> So, while I was slaying these wolves, I got a clue scroll drop again. So, that's pretty exciting. Now, instead of dying, I'm just going to head to Varok, which is like two steps away, and see what we get from this bad boy. So, this absolute degenerate wants me to fish him a raw herring. I have fishing bait that I got from the zombies I was fighting. I need ten fishing to get this guy's stupid fish. But, to do the quest, Cabin Fever, I need to have these skills. And I need to have also completed these quests. If you look at Rum Deal, I need 50 fishing for this bad boy. So, I'm going to have to do some fishing anyways to get that done. Because eventually, after Cabin Fever, it's going to unlock Cave Horrors, which is... A slayer monster. Not only is it a slayer monster, but it is THE slayer monster. This is where you get the black mask and then you can turn it into the slayer helmet. This is absolutely one of the goals for this account. So I might as well just bite the bullet and do some fishing. When I was thinking slayer only, I was thinking like we'd be able to get all of our equipment and everything from drops, but there are certain things that just aren't on slayer monster drop tables. Like the spade that's only dropped by an animated spade, which is not feasible. So, there's gonna be some times when we just have to bite the bullet and talk to old man fishing tutor over here to get a knit. Whoa, awesome. I like that it shows you. And we've proven that we can get ourselves rat meat as it is. So, that heals three, shrimp heals three. It's pretty much the same thing. I want to continue slaying monsters, and if I have to keep stopping to go fight more rats and then cook the rats every single time, we're not going to get s done slaying before Christmas. 
So this will just help keep the account moving forward. Oof. Okay, we finally got the fishing level that we needed. And we can get a herring. Alright, here we are. Port Sarim. Home of the fishing. Alright, uh, Gerent. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me? This has a weird name. Oh, sweet. I overestimated. Got a rod. See you when I have the fish. What is it with this account and wanting to be in a mime show? All right, I'd love to. All right, let's see what waste of time thing I get for this one. Awesome. Okay, let's see how that looks. More like the milk cow emote. All right, that was a waste of time. All right, give me the dunce cap. This is not the right spot where I should be fishing for these fish. Rod. Herring. Where? I'll bet it's in the ocean. Ugh, I'm so dumb! Now that I've arrived at the right location, let's see if I can get one. <laughs> I, I, I like this animation. This is great. <laughs> okay, I got one. Okay, it's like hours later, but we finally have the fish that this guy wanted. Now give me the next clue, you freaking dirtbag. Buried in the ground, who knows where it's found? Lucky for you, Lana, and Relda may have a clue. Speak to Relda to receive a strange device. Okay, who is that? Where is that? Okay, so apparently Relda is the Varak librarian, and he's going to give us a thing to help us with this clue. I like how they changed all the grass textures to snow texture. It's very festive. That is the best exam I've ever seen. Examine the weird looking tree and it's like, it's a tree! I'm like, well, I don't know what I expected. Okay, I probably should have paid attention. Oh, it's the hot and cold game. Okay, I played this with the there's like a quest that gives you the weird key. We gotta wait until it's like super de hot. Okay, that took a long time without run energy, but here we are. It's visibly shaking and burns to the touch. This must be the spot. Thanks, clue helper. Crap. All right, new casket, new upgrade. Here we go. Uh, it's not terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a dog shit reward, but at the same time. It's an upgrade. It's an absolute upgrade. And the spikiness gets even more spiky. But you know what? That's fine. Because that is going to help in the long run. Thank you, Treasure Trail. <laughs> if I was on any other account, I'd be pretty mad. But uh, it's not bad for us. All right, let's get fully equipped again for our wolf task. Look at that. Beautiful defense bonuses. Thank you, Treasure Trails. And then our helmet. The present that we got from the Christmas event that doesn't actually do anything, but it looks pretty neat. Goes with our Halloween colors. And our dagger. Hey, we are looking like we actually know what we're doing. Is this guy supposed to be Link or is he supposed to have a green pompadour? <laughs> Or like a Robin Hood hat that's like bent weird. Should have had more hearts, buddy. Or some food. Get a shrimp. They should call it the stronghold of common sense. Your mom offers you five Robux in exchange for access to your account. What should you do? Uh, delete it and call the police. Correct. <laughs> Just send that bitch to jail. Not getting into my RuneScape account. Not today. Another Slayer level coming in hot. No new unlocks, but we're making progress. Hey, that's task complete. 43 wolves down, and that one wasn't even that bad. I think these upgrades are finally, like, helping us get through these. It's not such a nightmare to do a task anymore. Uh, I'm glad we allowed the clue scrolls in, because, boy, we are just flying through these tasks now. All right, time for a new one. 18 cave crawlers. Got any tips? Cave crawlers are small and fast, often hiding in ambush. Avoid the barbed tongue or you'll get poisoned. Oh, 
<laughs> My character's so excited. Great, thanks. I'm like, no, you fool. We don't have any anti-poison. Oh, man. How are we going to get through this? <laughs>